the current that enters an element is shown find the charge that enters the element in given time so we are given the i of t versus t graph we are asked to find the charge that enters the element for example the element is a resistor so as we know that i of t is equal to q of t divided by time we can say that i is equal to d q of t divided by dt or in other words we can say that charge towards the system is equal to i of t dt and if you want to find the total charge we need to integrate both sides of the equation so we can say that this will cancel out and we can say that q of t is equal to i of t dt and the integration means that the sum of the product of i of t and dt so i of t and dt will give us this is the this axis gives us the i of t and this axis gives us the time and the product of i of t with dt will be the area under the graph so we, we are asked to find the charge the total charge that enters from 0 to 20 seconds so this means that if we find this area so this area plus this area will give us the total charge that enters into an element for this particular case so we can say that this is area 1 this is area 2 so we can say that the total charge q of t is equal to i of t dt or we can say that the total area under the graph so we can say that total charge is equal to area 1 plus area 2 here it is given that the current is in milli ampere so 10 into 10 so that will be 100 milli coulombs since the product of ampere and time is coulombs and the unit of charge is coulombs and plus the second area and the second area is a triangular area so we will say 1 divided by 2 now this base which is 20 minus 10 so this base length is 10 and the height is 10 this height is 10 so into 10 so this is 100 milli coulomb plus this this is 10 into 10 100 divided by 250 milli coulomb so 50 milli coulomb or we can say that 150 milli coulombs or we can say 150 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 coulombs or we can say that 0 0.150 coulomb 